That's a good question. Like, if you're, if you're at a very advanced level of consciousness, you should look like a saint and behave like a saint all the time and have a smile on your face and sort of say, bless you to everyone, non-stop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, everyone's got a different idea of what, what you look like when you become very advanced in spirituality. Um, it's, uh, it's something that, you know, ultimately, for all the spiritual students, you've got to transcend what the world thinks of you. You just have to transcend it. And you have to transcend your own ideas of what you should look like to the world now that you're spiritual. Because ultimately, these spiritual states are intrinsic. They're, they're, in, they're inside of you. And uh, conforming to what the world... You have to transcend. You know, Once you get to the spiritual states, you have to transcend what the world thinks of you. And you have to transcend what you should look like in the world. Because you may not end up, you know, they're very advanced teachers can some, you know, can look at, you know, have different expressions. You know, like um, Buddha, some of them just sit under a palm tree and are, seem, seem to be under bliss and say some cryptic words. And that's their, their whole life. And then others seem to be going around, you know, like... Uh, you know, and the miraculous is happening. They're saying, you know, the you know the light of God is within. And they seem to be more active. So and everyone's <coughs> got a different internal picture of what the ideal enlightened teacher or saint. But you've got to like transcend that. You mustn't look for external referencing uh, of your ego, and also transcend what others others think of you. Um, and it's more like an intention. Uh, it's like an inner intention to within, to, to let go of everything and go deeper within. And then whatever happens, you know, like the body and the talking is just like, uh, you know, they say being a channel or being like a puppet or being like an instrument. I like the word instrument. You know, when you're observing the body and you're witnessing the thoughts and yet something is talking and the body seems to be walking around the room, it's like you're not there. It's being observed, but it's not you. So, and what, how people react to it doesn't really matter, and what it says doesn't matter. You know, you leave that up. That, that is surrendered to the universe, yeah? What, what the instrument does, or the body does, and says, it's got nothing to do with you, and how people respond. Like, you know, the body suddenly, like, says, no gambling in this temple. People say, you're not spiritual now. We thought you were spiritual, but we don't believe you're spiritual any longer. But you're not identified with that drama of what others think of you and what you should look like or get hooked into that drama. Uh, and uh, I do get that. That is a very big one. Like, I should look a certain way and people should like me. Or I must never say, I must never swear because I'm now spiritual. I must never do anything. It is, um, you've got to try, and, those have to be transcended. Transcended of what you should look like and what others should think of you. Because the expression of the divine is going to be different. You know, you don't know, you might be like sitting under a tree saying nothing for 10 years, or you might be running around telling everyone that God is within, or, or whatever. So you, you don't know.